So I recently had the issue whereby I had uh, stripped down the uh, injection on my BMW X5 E70 uh, M57 engine, three litre diesel. And uh, in the process of doing that, I'd uh, cleaned the injectors up and uh, the rail had been off for around about a week or so. Uh, and when I came to putting it back together again, after I got some parts I was waiting on, it was all part of a bigger job. Basically, the car would not start at all. Uh, slight embarrassment for me, uh, as I was uh, backing myself that the, the car was going to be fine, but uh, it just wouldn't start. Um, this left me scratching my head a little bit. Um, basically, I hooked up the uh, ISTA Plus, and I was getting no pressure whatsoever from the, uh, the rail sensor. So I knew that there was something wrong, probably, most likely, an airlock uh, in the uh, injection system itself. Anyway, um, I managed to resolve it, uh, and I thought I would just about uh, sh share how I just about managed to do that with you on a, this quick uh, YouTube video. Obviously, this is relevant to um, the M57 engine in the E70s particularly, but it's probably relevant to um, many other diesel engines as well, um, and particularly to um, BMW diesels. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll just uh, talk you through how I got over this problem. I um, hope you don't ever get into it. I think basically if you do uh, any work on your diesel common rail and you know, you're know you just sort of attaching, detaching it, putting it together, you're not messing about with it, not taking it fully apart, you probably get away with it. You'll probably be all right. But if you've got it apart for any particular long length of time, then this is uh, probably something that you're going to have to deal with. So as you can see here, um, this is a picture of one of the fuel lines. Basically, I could see that there were air bubbles in it and these had to come out. I had a pretty e yeah, budget vacuum um, device I got from Amazon for about 15 quid which I thought I would use uh, or try and use for this application. So I hooked this up to one of the um, injector pipes and then I basically put in a little bit of hose and then the catch can there to retrieve any diesel and air that was going to come out and then I had on the other end the um, hand vacuum pump that I was going to use to draw the vacuum. So hook your ISTA Plus into your car, go to service functions and then you'll see there that there's an option for bleeding the fuel system and then you click on that and it basically you go through this process and what it does is it activates the lift pump in the in the fuel tank, which is something to put some pressure into the system to enable you to then draw it out. So you basically quickly activate that, just click through it quickly, and you'll hear the pump activate, and that will then put some pressure into the system that will uh, allow you to draw the fuel off with the vacuum. Uh, here you can see the uh, the air bubbles coming out of the system there, um, as I've got it drawing the vacuum. And I've got it on about 20, I think. That was uh, seems to be pretty good. And when you release that vacuum, you just be careful that it doesn't just draw the air bubbles back up. Now, what I did was I repeated that process for three of the cylinders. Um, I didn't see the need to do it for all six of them. Um, I thought by three, I'd probably uh, have a good chance of getting rid of that airlock that was in the system. So I did it for all three, the three cylinders which had the easiest pipes to access, uh, which were the ones with the sort of bent uh, in in injector pipes there. Um, then I gave the battery a really good charge overnight um, because it had actually been using the, the battery when I was uh, obviously firing up that lift pump um, and it had been sitting idle for a couple of weeks um, and then I came back to it the next day and then I gave it a crank over for about 8 to 10 seconds and nothing happened but at the same time I was watching the rail pressure on Insta Plus and I could see it building before the rail pressure had got main, close to about 6 bar but never over that after about seven, 10 seconds. And on that first time I cranked it over for eight seconds after the going through this process that I've just shown you, it went up to about 20, 20, 20 bar. So I knew something uh, had changed. I then left it for a bit. Obviously you don't want to keep on cranking it over unnecessarily because that can uh, not do your starting system, your starter motor any good whatsoever. So I left it for a bit, a minute or two, and then I came back again watching the bar pressure on the rail, I cranked it over for about eight, uh, eight seconds um, again, and I saw it very quickly go to 10 bar, 20 bar, 30 bar, then 300 bar, which is what it was at uh, idle, and the car at that point, of course, jumped into life simultaneously. 
um, and uh, thankfully I hadn't broken the car, which I was quite happy about. Um, so yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell, that uh, if you do take your injection, your common rail injection system off uh, your car for a period, this is the very safe and simple way of uh, dealing with it. Um, you will come across other things on the internet, forums about undoing the, uh, the bolts on the injectors and basically um, watching the fuel spurt out, watching any bubbles come out. But to be honest, don't do that. You're going to make a bit of a mess. Uh, just go through this process. If you haven't got ISTA Plus, um, but you're feeling a bit more adventurous, what you could do is potentially find the wiring for the um, lift pump and activate that manually off the battery. And I think that's what some people uh, have done previously on older versions of uh, the BMWs. But um, by far, the easiest way is to actually go through the bleeding procedure that's actually contained within um, the uh, ISTA Plus itself and work, that, work through it. Now, that's procedures actually for when you put a, a new fuel uh, filter in the system. But obviously, it works in this case as well. Anyway, I hope that was used to you. If uh, you've got a BMW X5 with a M57 engine in it, then please do uh, click like, subscribe, um, leave me some comments, let me know if you've got any queries or questions about this and I can get I hope this video has been useful. I hope it's got you out of a sticky situation if you thought you'd broken your car and you didn't know what was going on with the diesel injection system. Um, as I said, just let me a comment if you want or hopefully just give me a thumbs up. Thanks very much.